In terms of volume, not much to report on Wednesday. UMBS 5.5 were up six basis points early. Not much, but on the good side of things for once, bonds were flat to slightly weaker in Asia, but rallied in European bonds after 3 a.m. On a combination of economic and inflation data, in the 8 to 8.30 time frame, there was some new selling pressure after several comments from an ECB official. Contributed to a bit more weakness, U.S. equity futures slumped on Wednesday as recent earnings reports from the like of Microsoft Corp. Fan concerns about the health of corporate America and investors grew wary of Berlin's decision to approve the re-export of German-made tanks to provoke an escalation in the Ukrainian war. In terms of economic data, mortgage applications were up 7% week over week. Lower rates help boost refinance activity by 15%, but 15% more than jack shit is still jack shit. Today's only discernible interday movement followed comments from the bit. Bank of Canada's governor regarding the conditional nature of their rate hike pause. Even then, the move was mild and bonds quickly recovered. Strong five-year treasury auction helped to reinforce the recovery. At the end of the day, we're up 20 basis points at 101.55, which puts us right below that 38% Fibonacci retracement line, which is the bold red line right there in our graph so we've been trading in this channel for quite a bit is basically we've been running a channel between that fibonacci and the 50-day moving average which has been trending upward so we have a very narrow band here so hopefully there won't be a tons of volatility we are seeing financials increase provisions for credit losses capital one provision 2.4 billion which is a big increase from 1.9 in quarter three and 388 million a year ago. Given Capital One's credit card exposure, this is a warning that the consumer might be facing some trouble. I think this is under provisioning. I think there's gonna be a ton of credit card problems. In other consumer banking results, we saw increases from in provisions from Ally and Synchrony as well. For Ally, provisions are back towards pre-pandemic levels. One bank that bucked the trend was Western Alliance, which provisioned only 3.1 million in credit losses in quarter three, compared to 28.5 million in quarter, th I'm sorry, 3.1 million in quarter four versus 38.5 million in quarter three. Easier printed than said. Asset quality remains robust and charge-offs are low. Given that Western Alliance Bank has heavy exposure to the mortgage industry, this result is encouraging. We also got news that home builder DR Horton announced earnings this morning that missed the street estimates. As earnings fell 13%, revenues were slightly positive. Net sales orders fell 38% and cancellation rate rose 28%. Backlog fell 46%. And then we got post number eight on traction. This is from the book Traction by Gino Wickman, which is all about setting up your organization to achieve all of your goals in 2023, regardless of what these market reports say.